because tomorrow to all, I will not do a walk. Start a lot of video coming from Colorado Road, from by the National Insurance Building, outside of the National Insurance Scheme Building. Of foreign affairs and following through the building. This is the Ministry of Foreign Affairs and Foreign Trade Building. And on the opposite side would be the Fujitsu ICL and the Royal Bank of Canada, which is at Charleston Park. So this will be the entrance to Charleston Park which will take you back to Royal Bank of Canada and the Fujitsu ICR building and straight ahead and first of all ahead this here is the Frank Walcott statue who is one of our national heroes known as Frank by name and Frank by nature He was born in 1916 and died in 2000 and died in 1999. Sorry, he was a part of the, of the um, labor movement. This plaque here says, "The Right Excellence of Frank Walker, K.A. or uh, this, this, the Right Excellence of Frank Walker." This statue was unveiled by Prime Minister of Barbados, the Right Honorable Owen S. Arthur, and Lady Polly Walker on April 28, 2003 in recognition of the sterling contribution to the labor movement in Barbados. This is my walker here. And this is the Ministry of Foreign Affairs and Foreign Trade Building. Looking back at Charleston Park with the Royal Bank of Canada and the Fujitsu ICI Building. And this is the Lawrence the Greenhouse, which is known as the Skills Training Headquarters or the Barbados Vocational Training Board. And this is the National Insurance Scheme Building. See the government analytical services building here as well. And this is the Royal Bank. And this is the National Insurance Building. NIS National Insurance Scheme. Not a different walkout building. This was built in the late 90s, in the mid 90s, mid to late 90s, 90s, to be placed on top earlier this year, or earlier last year, which the way the Golden Square Freedom Park is now. This building was built to replace that. This is the park for National Insurance Building. National Insurance Building with the escalator or the staircase. This is a six-story building as well.
Kalorum Road, back at Kalorum um, Park, where the government offices are. This is another annex for the, the National Insurance Building. Now reporting Kalorum Farm, where our late Prime Minister, our Barbara, used to live. He was our first Prime Minister, father of independence, and he's also a national hero of Barbados. This is the National Insurance King building, known as the Frank Walcott building. The annex for the National Insurance building. This will take you back to Column Rock, Lower Column Rock, where the Purity Bakeries are at the end of the National Insurance building. This is Colodon Farm. We are our late Prime Minister, Errol Barrow. Our late Prime Minister and father of independence, Errol Barrow used to live. This is a track that will take you back to the Bearland Bearville area and the Bear Primary School. This is Colodon Farm here. We are our late Prime Minister and father of independence, Errol Walton Barrow, and also national hero used to live. He was born in the north of the island in the parish of St. Lucie in a place called Fairfield, but he used to live here. But the place is now um, dilapidated and derelict. So, this is his residence. It's known as Culloden Farm. And I don't know what they plan to do with it. I can see a fire destroy half of the building. So Arabao was born in 20, on the 21st of January 1920 and died on the 1st of June 1987. This is all the annex of the National Library Service. Come back to the National Insurance um, Annex and the, the, the track to the the track that will take you back to the BLM Bayville area. And this is the National Insurance Scheme Building. National Library Service um, Annex, where the story books and so on, I guess. It's a part of the National Library Service. All behind here will take you back to Henry's Lane and back to Purity Bakeries. But I will not go to that track. It could be a bit lonely and dangerous. This will take you back to the back of Purity Bakeries and the Annex for, um, and the St. Gabriel's. School. This is a, um, a basketball court here, National Library Service Building, and the National Insurance Building, the Annex for National Insurance, and Colorado Farm. And most of these businesses here are offshore businesses. St. Gabriel's School from back here, from behind here, from here. St. Gabriel's is another Catholic school. You know, it's a Roman Catholic Diocese of Barbados. St. Gabriel, the majority of the Catholic schools in Barbados are in close proximity to each other, such as St. Patrick's Roman Catholic in Jumas Lane, which is the main school. Then the Ursuline Convent, which is just behind me, where I'm going to get to shortly. And 
St. Gabriel's School, which is here, and the other one is St. Winifred's, which is just up Point Hill. Colonel Farm. Another National Insurance Scheme building. This is the National Disabilities Unit. This is the right here to the National Disabilities Unit. And this is the Fred Lillian Drive. National Disability Unit. And this is the car and this is the player going like a play facility. Now we're approaching the Ursuline Convent School. Looking back at the Frederick Lane Drive. Now we're approaching Lower Collimar Rock. You can see the chapel for the Ursuline Convent School right here. This is where the, this is the chapel here for the Ursuline Convent. So the, the convent is where the nuns live. This is another Catholic school. Another Catholic school, the convent. So this is no lower Colima Rock. This road here ahead will take you back to Purity Bakeries and back to the other Catholic school, which is St. Patrick's Roman Catholic on Jamax Lane. The Roman Catholic school and church, and it will take you back to the hospital, the Queen Elizabeth Hospital, and back to River Road as well. And it will take you back into Bridgetown. In fact, we are. In, uh, we can see. Uh, I can see that we are in Bridgetown already. Uh, this is just one minute walk away from Bridgetown. National Disabilities Unit. <laughs> Down the road, we pure the bakeries. It's St. Patrick's Roman Catholic Cathedral and School. And it will take you back into Bridgetown via River Road, and it will also take you back to the Queen Elizabeth Hospital as well. This is the entrance to the Ursuline Convent School, which is another Catholic school. This is Frederick Leandre that will take you back to the National Insurance Building and back to Lower and back to. The BLR area and Colodon Farm. And this is the Roman um, St. Ursula's Convent. It can be referred to as the Ursuline Convent or the St. Ursula's Convent. It all, the, 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 the primary school is called St. Angela's and the convent is known as the Ursuline Convent or St. Ursula's Convent. And this is the chapel here. Place. This is the offshore business, offshore bank. The right turn will take you the left, the left turn will take you by the George Street and Belleville. Here. And 
this is the British High Commission and the New Zealand High Commission. Here. The British High Commission and New Zealand High Commission. And this is the Nemville. This was Nemville, but it's now Sajika Financial Center. But it was Nemville. Back in the 90s and early 2000s. But probably before that. I oh, remember it as Nemville. Before Sajika bought over Neutral Bank. Before Sajika took over, it was Nemville. And the green building here was once the Neutral Bank. But it is now Sajikar and it's a branch of First Citizens Bank is there as well. Sajikar. This is the insurance of the Caribbean Inc. So this is the British High Commission here and the insurance of the Caribbean Incorporated right here. Lower Colimara, which takes you into Bridgestone. Let's see this equity insurance here. Huh? Here is Taji Car 1. We can see all the buildings here. So there's apparently there's Taji Car 1, 2, and 3. This is Taji Car 3. Sajid car 2 and Sajid car 1 in the background. We hit them Belleville. Behind here will be Belleville. Insurance here, and this is Evan Mandeville, also insurance broker, insurance brokers and consultants, and this is the equity building. And this was for player Delhi it is now SKI Delhi. It closed now. Evan Mandeville Associates. Back to the Fine Walcott building, known as the National Insurance Scheme building. This is their website, 
www.nis.gov.bb This is also part of Sajikar, the Colodon complex. Um, this is the E. Humphrey Walcott building, known as the, this is the annex for national insurance where you can drop in your green farms and your unemployment benefits and so on. The E. Humphrey Walcott building. Back again to the, to the Ministry of Foreign Affairs and Foreign Trade building. E. Humphrey Walcott building. You have to walk up the National Insurance Annex. And this is the Ministry of Foreign Affairs and Foreign Trade Building. Back to Charleston, part of the Royal Bank of Canada and the Fujitsu ICR building. And you can see the fountain outside of the Royal Bank of Canada building. Straight ahead, we'll take you back. Right here was a roundabout named after our Prime Minister's grandfather. His name was Ernest Dayton Motley. He was the city father and he was the mayor of Bridgetown. Born in 1907 and died in 1973. He was the city father and he was the mayor of Bridgetown. And in 2001, they reconfigured it into traffic lights. Straight ahead, we take you back to Point Road and to the avenues in Belleville and back to the Governor General's residence and Government House. The right turn will take you back to Lower Colima Rock, Purity Bakeries, the Ursuline Convent School at Interbridge Town. The right turn will take you back to the People's Cathedral via Bishop's Court Hill and Upper Colima Rock, Banks and Breweries and Wilby and back to Sheraton. And this road will take you back to the garrison area where you um, Dalkey, Britain's Hill and the Bearland area. This is the Ministry of Foreign Affairs and Foreign Trade Building. So we are one minute away from Bridgetown. Thank you guys for watching once again and have a blessed morning.